is everything truly one? There is a half truth here when it comes to oneness. If you listen to different DMT trip reports and just different trip reports in general, the majority of people that have these trips come back with the same general understanding that everything is one infinite thing. Whether you want to call that consciousness, awareness, or if you just want to look at it as I do, as the universe is infinite and we are intelligent aspects, universal aspects that exist within the universe. And there is only the universe and everything that exists, exists within the universe. This can be an enlightening understanding because that means that the earth and every other planet dimension and everything that can exist is all within the universe. Like our experience here right now, when you die, you just go back into a deeper aspect of the universe itself. Here's where the half truth breaks off, though. Just because everything may have uh, an aspect of oneness, okay, in one sense, everything is one. That doesn't mean everything is on the same page within that so-called oneness. I remember a video I saw of someone who had a DMT trip and uh, they encountered what they called ultra terrestrials. And that's basically from their human perspective. That's what they called them um, during the trip. These beings are just beings from another dimension within the universe. But to this person. During the trip, it seemed so bizarre that they saw these beings as something really sophisticated. However, though, when the person having the trip went into these beings' dimension, the beings told this person that you don't belong in our dimension. And then they pretty much sent the person out of their dimension. There's another story of a military experiment where... Three people uh, on behalf of this military project experiment went out of body and they traveled across the cosmos and basically ended up on Saturn and had a confrontation with a uh, tall gray alien and a reptilian being in a triangular shaped spacecraft of some kind. And the spacecraft beamed love and light at the three individuals when they were in their astral projected forms and, uh, or, you know, in their true essence within the universe. And so one of them saw through the beam of love and light, knew it was a trick and a trap. Um, two of the individuals didn't make it back to their bodies. The other guy who saw through the trap made it back. That's just a really short version of that last story. But the full length story is on a YouTube channel called Smoking Owl Tales. I recommend checking out the channel. There's really good content. But those are just examples of how everything is one, but it's not all on the same page. And there's a lot going on within the universe. Also, how can something that is infinite be measured at all? If we come from the timeless realm, if we come from what is known as the infinite, then that can't be measured. It's not one thing. It is just infinity. And there's so much going on within this universal infinity. It can't be explained with human words and human thoughts. We can only try to describe to the best of our ability what we think we know about the infinite. With that said, who knows what dimension we all were in and what we were doing before we ended up in this sector of the cosmos, on the earth with no memory of where we came from. Maybe some of us encountered some beings, like in the second story I told, um, you know, maybe something similar to the reptilian and the gray alien and the triangular spacecraft, and then brought here to be prisoners on earth and then recycled by the light after death. With this realization, though, you also got to realize not all is lost. Not all is hopeless, because once you realize all this stuff, it may be kind of scary, but then you think a little bit deeper about it, and you start to rub your hands together and say, 
well, looks like it's time to escape from prison, you know? Time to break out, be free again. It can be your moment to say, time to figure out how I can find my way back to where I was long ago before I ended up here. That kind of sounds fun, doesn't it? Of course, it's not something that you have to really worry about until you pass away. But it is something that you can keep in the back of your mind and always remember. <laughs>